Dr. Ellen Bora, you are the expert when it comes to anxiety. What is it that we get wrong about anxiety? I think for most of us, we feel like it's something that's going to keep us stuck, but it's not something that has to hold us back. Like we can actually work on this, no? Yeah. We're taught that our anxiety is a genetic chemical imbalance, that it's a destiny and it's in a fixed trait. That's where we've got it wrong. Genes play a role, but they're only ever a predisposition. In functional medicine, we say genes loads the gun, but the environment pulls the trigger. And the part of this conversation we have yet to be focused on is the environment. The fact that there are so many other determinants of our mental health and our anxiety levels, from our sleep to our nutrient status and inflammation levels, hormone balance, all the way down to whether or not we are finding meaning in our lives and connected to community. So it's our least hopeful narrative to focus on our genes. And I think we can all feel much more empowered and hopeful when we recognize there's a lot we can do to support our mental health. And when you're dealing with anxiety, like so many of us are, we are worried and anxious. It seems like giving us a list of things to change in our life will just give us more things to be worried and anxious about. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> how do you solve anxiety and worry when the very answers are worrisome? I get that a lot. It's a problem that I recognize. Yeah, so the way I frame it in my book is to think about this as a buffet. I'm not saying here are a hundred things that you must do to be less anxious. I'm saying here are a hundred options of how we approach this. What resonates for you? What feels accessible? That's where you start. You make a little change. It starts to shift how you feel. And perhaps the next change feels a little bit more within reach. And what will be like two or three little bonuses you can tease us with for these changes? <laughs> so here are three pearls to be less anxious. Keep your blood sugar stable. It's a lot of panic and anxiety. It's just what happens when blood sugar crashes, it precipitates a stress response, and we subjectively experience that as anxiety. Take a little bit of magnesium glycinate at bedtime. That repletes a mineral that most of us are deficient in, and it helps with sleep and it helps with anxiety. And then prioritize community in our lives. What does that last one mean? This speaks to the fact that on the proverbial savanna of evolution, we were not the strongest species. We were not the fastest species. We were the ones that figured out how to cooperate. And I believe it's for this reason that when we feel held in community and richly connected, we feel safe. And when we feel isolated, disconnected, ostracized, on some level in our hard wiring, it feels like it's a matter of life or death. So when we are not connecting with community, it contributes to our anxiety. This is not as easily fixed as saying, keep your blood sugar stable or take a magnesium pill but we have to recognize it is our number one priority. If you want to know more about how you can quiet that restless mind to get more things done, overcoming depression or anxiety or insomnia or ADHD, click on the link right over there to hear the full conversation I have with the one and only Dr. Ellen Vora.